Welcome back guys. Today's look is all about pumpkin spice vibes. I was really inspired by this palette that I got from Too Faced. I loved the shades in it. You guys are gonna see it in a sec. And I wanted to do this like very fall, very autumn type of look that's like inspired by pumpkin spice. <laughs> so that is the look that I'm doing today. If you guys are new, my name is Iman. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can also add me on Instagram at Iman. And to see how to get this pumpkin spice vibe makeup, just keep watching. All right guys, I am very excited to do this look. So the main thing, whoa, I'm so stuffed up. So the main thing that inspired today's look that I'm very excited about are these two palettes from Too Faced. We got Too Faced Gingerbread Spice and then Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy. Look how pretty these palettes are, you guys. So many gorgeous colors. I kind of just want to use all of them, but I would if I could. <laughs> I don't even know which one to start with because they're all so pretty. I think I'm honestly just gonna play around with both and just have some fun. I have no idea what I'm doing for this look, but I'm just gonna go for it. And another thing I'm very excited to feature today is the brand new brush set. What am I doing here? From Sigma and my girl, my boo, Roxette Arisa. You guys know I love Roxette. So Roxette came out with a collab with Sigma. It's a brush collab. There are five brushes in total. One of the brushes, Roxette design from scratch. I believe it's this one right here. So I'm gonna be using all of these brushes today for this eye look, for the face look. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm starting off with one of my favorite, favorite primer combos. I think I've talked this about this quite a few times already, but I'll talk about it again. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love the texture of this primer. It has a lot of like tackiness to it, which is great because it really holds your foundation. It gives something for your foundation to grip to. Then I like to go in with the Catrice Goodbye Pores. I've been using this nonstop, you guys. I feel like I've been using this in all my videos, but I really feel like it makes a difference. And I just basically use it in the inner part of my cheek, a little bit on my forehead and my chin. That's about it. For foundation, I'm using the NARS foundation today. I'm gonna be applying it with my Real Techniques, Real Techniques, brush. I kind of go back and forth between applying foundation with a brush like this, like a buffing brush like this, or I really love the one from A Cosmetics. There's a bunch of these like buffing type of brushes that I really love for buffing in your foundation or using my beauty blender. It depends. Sometimes what if I want to do a really fast application, I'll use a buffing brush. Sometimes it also depends on my skin, how my skin is feeling. I kind of go back and forth, but my skin is definitely doing a lot better, you guys. So I want to do an updated skincare video because I've been using some products that have been making a huge difference. If you guys want to see that, make sure you let me know in the comments. I've gotten so much better at doing like my face makeup first and then doing my eyes. Back in the day, I used to have a really hard time doing my face first because I would mess it up with all the fallout from my eyeshadow if I was doing like a heavier eye look. But I realized with practice, you become a lot less heavy handed. Like I guess when I first started doing makeup, I would just like apply so much eyeshadow. I didn't really know what I was doing. But now I'm just so much more like precise with my eyeshadow. That's why I could totally like do my face and not really worry about fallout. For concealer, you guys, I'm using the e.l.f. concealer. I used these in my last tutorial and I love them. This has kind of been my go-to concealer lately. It's nice full coverage. They blend really well. So I'm gonna use this just to conceal under my eyes and I'm also gonna use a bit on my eyelid as my eyeshadow base. Rather than using like an eyeshadow primer, this just makes things go so much faster. All right, let's dig into this palette. So I was gonna use both, but I realized that might not be a good idea because if you guys just wanna recreate the look, you're not gonna get both palettes, you're probably gonna get one. So I'm going to stick with extra spicy today. I'm really gonna try to play with as many colors as possible. Let's start with plenty of dough which is this kind of peachy nude, that one right there, all over my lid. This is gonna be just a really pretty base color. Okay, I love this peach color. It's so 
pretty. Let's dig into Roxy's brushes. This is the E40 Tapered Blending Brush. I'm using that same color, Plenty of Dough, weeping it along my lower lash line. This brush is like perfect for the crease, for your lower lash line. It's such a nice shape. I'm going in with another brush from the Roxette Time Sigma Collection. This is the E54 Medium Sweeper Brush. And I'm going with this beautiful color right here for the gram. That's a good name. I'm using that on my lid. I love this. this is like pure pumpkin spice latte vibes. I think I'm gonna call this look pumpkin spice latte. I love how pigmented these shadows are. So I'm applying this all over pretty much up to my crease, a little bit past it. Going back with that other brush and just blending it out. These shadows blend really beautifully. So I'm taking that same color, just sweeping it along bottom lash. Like the oranges are like kind of making the green in my eyes really pop. So if you have hazel eyes, blue eyes, this will look really, really pretty. And of course, brown eyes, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I have to use it since this palette is called Extra Spicy. I have to go in with the shade called Extra Spicy, which is this beautiful bright orange. Ooh, love this color. So pretty. And it's kind of just the same thing over and over. So apply with the small brush and then blend out with the blending brush. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Gingerbread Glam, which is this kind of like medium brown. So I'm taking this color I just want to deepen my crease a bit. So it's kind of like a deeper brown. So I'm just keeping this right in my crease. You can see like right here, it needs to be blended a bit. Rather than using this brush that's already dirty, I'm going to use a totally clean brush and just use that just to blend out these edges. You guys will see like magic. It's going to be a lot cleaner looking. See? Look at that. It's like an eraser. I'm gonna take that same gingerbread glam color with my smaller brush and use that mainly just on the outer corner. I'm not taking this all the way in. Okay, I'm really loving this color here. Spicy Miami. If you guys don't know, I love Miami. Miami is like one of my favorite cities ever. Spicy Miami. I'm gonna take the small shader brush. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus. Oh, I love it. It's not bronzy, which because I really didn't want this to be bronzy. It's still in the same tones, but it has that little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, right in the outer corner, I'm gonna use the darkest shade in the palette. This is called Cookie Call. It's this dark kind of maroony brown. I'm just gonna use, I'm still using that same brush, you guys. I haven't really switched. Of course, there's two sides to it, so you could also use the other side if the one side is too wet. But I'm using this color just right on that outer corner. This is gonna just kind of deepen that out a bit. Two more shadows from the palette and then I'm done, you guys. I'm gonna take Drizzle It, which is this kind of like pinky shimmery color, just with my finger. I'm applying this just right in the center and it's gonna give a little bit of glitter to the eye. Super, super pretty. And then the last shadow, I'm taking Candy Queen, which is this like very bronzy shimmery tone. And I'm using this just right in the inner corner. Let's see how well this picks up. I think I might need to wet my brush for this because it's kind of flaking a little bit. You definitely want to be careful with shimmery shadows so you don't get fallout. So if you ever find that they're like flaking, just wet your brush with a setting spray or with like Fix Plus. For my waterline, I'm using one of my favorite brown cool pencils. This is from Pixie Beauty. It is the Endless Silky Eye Pen and the color is Bronze Beam. I love this color and it just kind of glides right on. And I love it for, sh for looks like this because it just totally brings out the shadow without like overpowering it. When you use black liner for looks like this, it can kind of overpower the look and take it over where this just like really complements it. I'm throwing on these wispy lashes from Ardell. So there's this little inner corner part that I want to fill in where there's like a gap where my lashes start and end. So I'm going to take that tiny little angled brush from the Roxette Arisa Time Sigma collab. You guys probably can't even see it. It's got like this little tiny angle. This is the E6 winged liner. I'm going to wet the brush. 
gonna take the darkest shadow from the palette just so there isn't such a strong gap but that definitely makes a difference i feel like it makes the eye look a little bit more complete i'm gonna quickly fill in my brows using one of my favorites this is the benefit precisely brow my brow pencil and the shade that i use is number four okay guys i'm so happy to say i started using grande brow again you guys know i've talked about grande brow many times my last video i was basically saying how i went to a new eyebrow girl she kind of messed up my brows so i was just waiting for my brows to grow back so i can get them fixed and i was like you know what i need to start using grande brow so it can grow faster huge difference in one week already you guys like my brows are already looking so much better i didn't even do anything to them i didn't get them fixed yet definitely recommend it if you're trying to grow out your brows grande brow works great for contour slash bronzer i'm gonna be using the iconic bronze f27 brush from the roxette sigma collection i'm gonna be using a mix of the laura mercier matte radiance baked powder bronze number four which is like one of my favorite bronzer colors using this kind of like a little bit of contour i love this brush because you can really get in chisel your cheekbone but it also flattens out so you can get like nice bronzer colors so you can kind of do a mix of contouring and bronzing all at once anything that saves me time you guys i'm all about for highlighter and blush i'm testing out two new products both from elf this is the white gold highlighter from elf and this blush always rosy so let's give these a go i feel like the shade goes really pretty with these shadows this kind of has that really warm pumpkin rosy tone to it so i think this goes really well for the highlighter you guys i'm going to be using the last brush from the Roxette Sigma Collection, the fan brush. This is called the Strobing Fan F42. This is a great brush to use for applying highlighter. This is such a pretty highlighter, you guys. I thought it was gonna be a lot more white, but it actually has this kind of like rosy undertone to it that might actually be from my blush. I don't know, but it looks so pretty. I love that. Okay, for lips, I'm really gonna play around. I have a bunch of different shades here, you guys. I have a couple of shades from Too Faced, which I'm thinking I kind of want to try, but I feel like it might be overload with the eyes. I don't know, I can't tell. Then I have a couple of really pretty shades from NARS. This is definitely the safer way to go. Let's try one of these colors from Too Faced. These are their Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. Let's see what we can come up with. So the first shade is called Gingerbread Girl. I think this is quite dark, so I'm gonna use this more to line. Oh my God, it smells so good, you guys. It smells like gingerbread. I'm gonna try not to eat it. Okay, I do like where this is going. I'm gonna try the other shade. This is Gingerbread Man. So we got Gingerbread Girl, Gingerbread Man. <laughs> this is a lot more orange but still very pretty. These are very matte, by the way, guys. I love this. I love where this is going. I think this is really nice. Very unexpected. I totally love this lip combo. I'm thinking I might put a little bit of that NARS just right in the center. Yeah, I love that. So this is the Fly Robin Fly Power Matte Lip Pigment. I'm happy with this. I think you can go a little bit heavier on bronzer because this is such a bronzy kind of autumn vibe look so i'm gonna add just a little bit more bronzer all right guys i hope you enjoyed this very fall very autumn very pumpkin spice vibey makeup i really love how this turned out the rock set sigma pa sigma collab that one love it the Too Faced gingerbread extra spicy palette and a very happy surprise is the combination of the lip shades from Too Faced so I hope you guys love this look as much as I do make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new if you try this look out let me know in the comments or just leave me a comment in general <laughs> and add me on Instagram at Iman all right guys I will see you in another video very soon bye